Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I have been asked to demonstrate the difference between blowing ink with a straw and using any other uh, device to blow ink. So I'm going to try this and show you side by side each different way that I have used to blow ink. And the first one will be a straw. So I'll just drop two drops. This is Pinata uh, Passion Purple. I'll try that again. So you see it can be used. Uh, it doesn't go very far. I'm a non-smoker, so I do have lung power. Uh, what I don't like about the straw, other than it doesn't blow very far, is that in order to blow out, you first have to inhale. So you're inhaling fumes. Not recommended by me. The next method that I use, when I started, I used this uh, electronics duster. And it blows quite hard. Um, one thing I don't like about it, I'll show you in a second. There's two drops. It blows quite hard and I have uh, alcohol ink all over my laptop to prove it. So it does blow well, but you can't control and get a softer touch to it. This also becomes ice cold instantly. As soon as you use it, it's already really cold. If I used it one more time, I'd have to stop because my hands would be just frozen. So really not appealing. I don't recommend that. Uh, the third method is the Revlon hair dryer that you've probably seen on other videos. A lot of people use these. Uh, it's perfect for when you want to do wispy alcohol uh, paintings. It, uh, in conjunction, there's two drops, with rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, you can put it on a cool setting. So now, if you wanted to do this style of alcohol ink, this is on a ceramic tile, this would not be my preference because it doesn't give me the distance that I need for flowers for the style that I do in any event. But it is great if you're trying to do wispy things that don't move very much. Now, my preference, my favorite, is the Master Airbrush. This gem is so tiny. It fits beautifully on the table, under the table, wherever I want to put it. It's really, really slick. Now, I have never adjusted the PSI on this. I'm not even sure if I can. I don't need to. It's exactly what I want. So I will demonstrate it with two drops of ink. And it travels really far. The other thing I can do with this is decide where I want my ink to go. I can turn, I can... If the ink is wet, I can decide where I want it to go. I can do full circles with this one, which is what I used to do this tile, and I just was blowing in circles. I wouldn't be able to do that with the other types of uh, air. Now, the other thing I want to demonstrate is the difference between rubbing alcohol, which is 
isopropyl alcohol. This one is 99%. It's the only one that I have access to in our town. So I always use the 99%. I can't tell you the difference between 91% and 99 because I don't know. I've never used less than 99. And that I put in this little bottle and that gives me more uh, control as to where I lay the drop. This blending solution, uh, this is by Ranger. And I don't know why I got one like this. The last one I got, still by Ranger, it had more of a tip. And I was able to put it exactly where I wanted it. I really don't know what to do with this. In any event, um, I want to demonstrate the difference between the two. This isopropyl alcohol, when you put it down, it will blend very well with the colors, but you will get lines, and you're going to see where you put the ink. With the uh, blending solution, it's a smoother join and it blends the colors, but it's almost seamless. You do get some lines, but not like with the alcohol. And I will demonstrate with the two purples. This is Passion Purple by Jacquard, and this is Blue Violet. So let's uh, switch this paper around, and I will put the two side by side. Two drops of that one, two drops of this one. They look the same right now. Now, with the blending solution, no, sorry, with the alcohol, I can lay down some drops. Now, hopefully you can see this without much reflection, but you can see the lines where they've joined. It's almost like they're just side by side. They're not all making a new color. Now we'll try the same thing again, and this time we'll use the blending solution, and hopefully we'll have something that makes sense. many drops there so it might take a while. You can see right off the pop, even just moving it this way, you can see a much smoother transition from the purple to the pink. So not nearly, oops, not nearly as many lines. It's really smooth. It is expensive to buy the blending solution. It does go a very long way though, because uh, this bottle using one drop, two drops, you could almost cover this page with probably three or four. So um, it does go a long way. More expensive than the isopropyl alcohol. So those are the differences. I hope this has been helpful. Please leave a comment. Let me know what else you'd like to figure out. I, I'm always open to suggestions. And please be kind. I'm new at this, and uh, I know that it isn't perfect. I'm fully aware I'm working on it. So thanks for watching. Bye.